Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am going to make a concoction video for you today. It's a video I've been wanting to do ever since Running Kimono uploaded her version. She makes a super easy, world's easiest banana bread. So all it requires is, I will tell you the way she made it, a yellow cake mix, two eggs, three ripe bananas, and some vanilla extract. I'm going to link you to her video. If that's the way you would like to make yours, please go check it out. I'm telling you, she does the whole video in under a minute. She makes the world's quickest cooking videos. And she always puts the directions below the video in the description box. So if you don't even want to invest a minute of your time to watch her video, you can just jump right to the actual recipe. I am going to do it a little bit different because my mother likes spice cake and I thought we would try spice cake banana bread. So here's the cake mix I will be using. Got my two eggs and I have three very ripe bananas that may even have some black spots on them. And that's the way I like them for things like this because they will taste extra banana-y. And yes, that is a word. I declare it a word. <laughs> okay, it is hot in Sanford, Maine today. I do have ACs running, but I cannot believe that I have the oven on for 350. Whew! But I will survive. While it's baking, I am going to go and throw myself on my mother's couch. Maybe watch some videos. I have to get caught up on my videos. All right, let's just move on over. Oh, the other thing I will be doing differently is I'm not going to be using a bread pan because I have some somewhere. Don't feel like looking for them. So I'm just using a rectangle cake pan, like 9 by 13. It possibly is. Where is it? Oh, I just washed it. So uh, let's go on over to the counter and get started. I'm going to start by putting the two eggs in the bowl. Oh, and the other thing I will be doing differently is I don't have a stand-up mixer. Not sure I'd even want one. Looks like a lot to clean. So, and I'm not even getting my hand mixer out. I'm doing it all by hand. I'm going to add my bananas. That's how Skylar always said bananas. So let's see how black they are. Look, not hardly. Not at all. If your cake mixes go on sale or you can get them at Dollar Tree or something, grab some. Try some different varieties. I bet strawberry banana would be good. Now mine are pretty ripe, so I'm just going to mash those. I don't care if there's some chunks of banana, but again, you can use a mixer if you want. Hand mixer will work. Could even just take a potato masher thingy. Okay, that looks done enough for me. Now I'm adding the mix. And the recipe calls for a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I don't know. I don't even care. You, you can go look at Running Kimono's recipe if you need exact. I'm just going to put a little bit of vanilla because I happen to have some. If you don't have vanilla, you can skip this totally. Do not need to worry about it. So remember, you don't go by what the directions on the box say. You go by what I say or, or what Running Kimono says, depending on which version you want to make. Don't think because you don't have a mixer that you can't cook. Because you can. Might not turn out exactly the same, but it'll still be good. It's just a different kind of good. And that's all I'm going to do. So, let me get my pan now. I greased my pan with a little bit of buttery Crisco. You could use butter or any shortening or no stick cooking spray. And I want to freeze this for my mother, so I'm just thinking I'll be able to cut this in some nice squares and wrap them up and freeze them. There. And my oven is preheated to 350. And since I am doing this in a cake pan, I am checking this baby at 30 minutes. And I will report back to you. 
if you heard something, that was the sound of me licking my fingers! Okay, this is 30 minutes at 350 degrees, and that is perfectly done. Yes, I know, Skylar polished my nails. I'm famous for letting them just completely wear off before I remove the nail polish. Um... You know, I'm going to actually skip the taste test, if you guys don't mind, because I'm trying really hard to get back away from sweets. But I'm going to be baking stuff, because I want to for this channel. I will let you know tomorrow in the daily update how this turned out. So I'm just going to let this cool, cut into individual squares, put them in some baggies, and freeze them for my mother. And when she has a piece and she lets me know how it is, I will uh, let you know in my next daily update. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this a try. And if you do, please give credit to Running Kimono and link back to her video in your description box. The link to her video is in my description box, so you can just scoop it up and paste it on yours. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye!